I made a video today explained what ignorance is and that everyone has natural ignorance. Because you're not the most high, you can't know everything. If you're the most high, you know everything. If you're the most high, you can do anything. You can even turn back time. You're not the most high, so you don't know everything. You don't. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's natural. Be glad. You don't. Because if you know everything, then you have to deal and process everything. Be happy you don't have to do that. So, you're not the most high. You're a creature. You're a beloved creature. So you're welcome. Christ gave his life for you. Praise the Lord. That's me. That means you don't know everything. And that's why it said, don't rely on your own, your own understanding. Your own understanding can be practical and useful and you should have your own understanding, but you shouldn't rely on it. You should rely on God's understanding who has all the information and all the knowledge and all the experience also. So natural, natural ignorance, everyone has and you shouldn't fight it. It's natural. Okay. But constructed ignorance is what the world has done to all of us. They have withheld information and knowledge from us that we should have received. And instead they've given us pseudo knowledge, counterfeit knowledge that trapped us. That's not your fault. You can't help it. So stop blaming yourself. Seriously, stop blaming yourself. Okay. That's a trap. Stop blaming yourself. It's not your fault. The only thing you can do is acknowledge what happened. That it wasn't your fault. You couldn't, couldn't do anything about it. And because you acknowledge what happened, you realize it can be better. And you are receptive for the better. That's what being humble means. You're receptive for the better. Okay? And that's what God wants for you. Hum being humble simply means being open, with open arms, receptive to the better that God is, is going to give you. That's what it means to be humble. Praise the Lord. Thank you for the light, new Father. Abba, thank you. Yahweh is good. He's good, people. Just realize one thing. N um, natural ignorance we all have. Constructed ignorance, that's something that's been done unto you. But being ignorant of knowledge you should have is dangerous. You will be ignorant of stuff throughout eternity. Okay, so don't even try to know everything. You can't. Your mind can't handle it. You're not the most high. But there are, but there is knowledge, where it's uh, knowledge of how the human being operates, knowledge of the spirit world, or knowledge of the environment that you should have. And if you don't have that proper knowledge, that's dangerous. Not only will you become dysfunctional because of that, but anyone can trick you abuse you and exploit you and you're not even aware it's happening and here's the worst part evil spirits and evil people can use you to harm others and you're not even aware that you're being used to harm others that happens when you're ignorant when you're ignorant of things you shouldn't be ignorant of that's why nobody has a right to remain ignorant of things they should know look that someone walks around and he can't and he can't stand black people and uh, he expects you to know that someone Someone is delusional. Someone like that is delusional. First of all, he's operating in hatred. So, so he's displacing um, resentment towards himself. So he's delusional anyway. So you should be ignorant of him not liking black people because that's not relevant. It doesn't matter. That's a, the fact he needs to work on. But if you don't know that you are a spirit being with a soul living in a body, if you don't know the spiritual difference between male and female, if you don't know the difference between male energy and feminine energy, if you don't know that, you're in trouble. You are seriously in trouble if you don't know that Christ completed it all in Calvary on, for your sake and you only have to walk by faith to walk in the power. If you don't know that, but you think you need to earn it by going to church every Sunday, you're in trouble. There are things you should know because they are beneficial to you and to your functioning in, in the community or in the environment. If you don't know those proper things, you're finished. For example, let's say you're cooking and you're using molasses. And you re and the in the instruction it tells you not to overcook the molasses because it will turn bad. So you obey the instruction. Let's say you know someone else received the same recipe, but they don't have that instruction of how to use the molasses. They didn't receive that instruction, so they couldn't know any better. But that doesn't stop that when they use molasses in the wrong way, it will uh, spoil the food and may even become um, toxic for their stomach. So you will always have natural ignorance, but everyone should be delivered from constructed 
ignorance because constructive ignorance intends to keep you away from the knowledge of Christ and and it's intended to keep you dysfunctional in a state of anxiety so demons can feed off of you so everyone should seek to be delivered from constructed uh, ignorance natural ignorance leave it alone this natural or embrace it but constructed ignorance seek deliverance from it nobody has the right to remain constructively um, ignorant nobody has because it's dangerous well that's it for now keep agreeing with christ our lord and savior and soon he'll return and he'll evict this apollonian cattle masonic cult from the earth till then just walk by faith trust in him be at peace